state rep Rick Bratton versus state rep Jack Bondin. Who's going to fight for gun owners in Senate District number 31, guys? That's the question we're hearing. My name is Aaron Dorr with the Missouri Firearms Coalition. And if you live in western Missouri, uh, District 31, these five counties on the western edge of Missouri, this video is going to be an important one for you guys. So get tuned in and pay attention. The, the election is right around the corner. You guys probably know Senator Ed Emery. He served his eight years and he's retiring from office and it's caused this vacancy. And so now we have two state reps who are vying for the Republican Party nomination, which is more or less the election in this case, who want to represent you as a gun owner in Jefferson City. And you guys all know we have a real problem in Jeff City with moderates who say one thing at election time and then do nothing almost nothing once they're safely in office. So for you guys who are asking us, who is the pro-gun candidate, here's what we have for you guys to consider. State Rep Rick Bratton is surveyed 100% with the, uh, the Missouri Firearms Coalition. That means he supports the Second Amendment Preservation Act. This is the most popular bill right now in Missouri. We had 88 co-sponsors this year on this bill. Rick Bratton, 100% when it comes to SAPA legislation. Rick Bratton opposes, publicly opposes, red flag gun seizures. He opposes a ban on the AR-15. He opposes Michael Bloomberg's universal background check bill, which is simply a gun registration bill here in Missouri. And he's 100% opposed to a mandated government waiting period, especially these days when you have Antifa thugs rioting burning and looting their way across Missouri and across the country, frankly, it's asinine to make law-abiding citizens wait an arbitrary number of days to get a gun. And he's an absolute proven fighter when it comes to your gun rights. What do I mean by that? Well, in 2016, Missouri passed constitutional carry law. That was our bill that we pushed for and lobbied for with your help in the Capitol in Jeff City. And towards the end of that fight, we could tell the momentum was on our side, and we knew that we were going to pass uh, this bill. The question then for, for gun rights organizations like ours is, what more can we do to advance freedom? If we think we're going to pass a bill, can we get anything extra added to the bill as an amendment and make an even bigger advancement of two-way freedom? And we did. Our goal then, once we knew we were going to pass the bill, or once we thought we were going to pass the bill, we wanted to get stand your ground law passed here in Missouri. Stand your ground law is perhaps the, the, the biggest thing you can need when it comes to a self-defense laws because it simply states that you don't have to retreat. If someone's trying to attack you, you know, kill you, attack your spouse, your family, your friends, there's no need to retreat anymore here in Missouri because of stand your ground law. And when we came to, to find the guy to lead that bill for us and fight for that, we found Rick Bratton had already been advancing this legislation as a standalone bill in 2016. So we approached Rick Bratton and said, hey, would you take your bill, wrap it as an amendment onto constitutional carry and lead that charge on the floor? And Rick Bratton didn't just say yes, he said hell yes. And he made stand your ground law a reality in Missouri in 2016. I want to give some context on this. We've all seen the McCloskey couple, right, in St. Louis. She had the handgun, he had the AR-15, and they stared down a group of three to 500 thugs who had broken into their property and were trying to assault them. We've all seen that video, right? The cops didn't show up. They stood there on their own, protected themselves with their own firearms. And what have we seen happen in the news since then? Kim Gardner, the most corrupt, shallow uh, a, a prosecuting attorney in Missouri has announced that she's trying to find a way to bring charges not against the thugs who broke onto their property, who destroyed their, uh, their front yard, their gate, etc. No, she wants to prosecute the McCloskeys. But guess what? She can't because Rick Bratton made Stand Your Ground Law a reality here in Missouri in 2016. And because of that, this couple is protected from the spurious accusations and, and would-be charges that could come from someone like Kim Gardner. So Jack, so this guy, this guy right here, Rick Bratton, has fought for gun rights and has promised to keep fighting for gun owners if sent to the Missouri Senate. But not Jack Bondin. Not Jack Bondin. Jack Bonin's been in the House for a long time, too. But Jack Bonin 
when it comes time to actually you know, take action and fight for gun owners, he's almost never able to be found. We asked Jack Bonden this year to, to co-sponsor gun-free zone repeal legislation, House Bill 1638. This bill would repeal the gun-free zones that we have in 18 different areas here in Missouri. We all know how deadly gun-free zones are. Almost every mass shooting, almost every single one happens in these areas because these madmen know that we can't fight back because we have been disarmed. So we brought this bill to Jack Bond. And more importantly, his constituents, you guys emailed him, you called him and you said, we want you as our voice in Jeff City, we want you to co-sponsor this bill. Jack Bonden refused. Not good. He's also refusing right now to sign his Missouri Firearms Coalition candidate survey, the same survey that Rick Bratton signed 100%. We asked him, will you support or will you oppose red flag gun seizures? Bonden won't answer us. He wouldn't answer us on an AR-15 ban. He wouldn't answer on if he would support gun registration. He won't tell us if he's even going to support stand your ground law. Because now that we passed it, anti-gun radicals in Jeff City, they've been trying to repeal it for the last two years. There's a real push on to repeal stand your ground law. And we asked Bonden, will you defend stand your ground law? Bonden won't say. So every chance Rick Bratton has had to fight for gun rights, he stood up and led that charge. And he's vowed to continue doing so by signing the Missouri Firearms Coalition survey 100% pro-gun. But almost every time we need Jack Bonden, we can't find him. He's not available in the fight for gun rights. He will not co-sponsor these pro-gun bills. And now he's refusing to sign his candidate survey. So on the most important issues of the day, gun owners have no idea how he would vote if he was elected senator in this district. So if you live in or around this, this area, again, we're discussing western Missouri, South of Kansas City, these four counties here and the one county off to the side here. If you live over here, contact Jack Bond and ask him, what are you hiding? Why won't you survey? What's your answer when it comes to the fight for gun rights? And don't take any bull crap from him like, oh, I'm pro-gun or I, I hunt or I own a shotgun. Everybody says that. Everybody does that. Joe Biden has photographs of him, right? Holding his shotgun. That doesn't count for crap. If you won't put your name out there and sign a survey and sign that dotted line and vow to fight for gun rights, then all the rest of this crap is just noise from a desperate politician who's trying to get your support at election time. So ask him to survey, tell him to apologize for not supporting gun-free zone legislation and make sure every gun owner in this area sees this video. Guys, to join the Missouri Firearms Coalition, go to joinmofc.com.